Hello guys, welcome to Mashal Education Warrior V. Uh, this video is going to be very interesting, so watch it till the end because in today's video I have discussed 25 most important rules of English grammar. This will help you being more constant and being more fluent in English. So without any further ado, let's start the video. Here is the first rule where we have a structure like nothing but plus followed by a noun. So now you see the first sentence here, nothing but trees is seen or are seen so this is what the question here so what should be your response here which one you'll go with is or are now to your surprise answer will be is seen here nothing but trees is seen is the correct one nothing but trees are seen is incorrect now the reason being you can ask for the reason here so reason is here nothing but trees trees were noun word here with since plural but since it precedes the structure nothing but so it will always take singular verb form in, in any case in any situation right So here we start with the second rule. Uh, so the second rule says if the subject of the sentence has a structure, the plus adjective, it takes plural verb form always. Now I'm talking about the word subject here. Subject means the doer of an action in the sentence or whom we are talking about in the sentence. So now it says the subject, the plus adjective. This formation always takes plural verb form. For so let us understand the same. Uh, through these examples if you see the examples here the poor dash honest the rich dash happy and joyous the old dash helpless and neat here the virtuous placed right if you see all these examples they have a one common structure for the subject that is the plus adjective here in these sentences poor rich old virtuous are the adjectives here now so if you see this kind of structures so we should always use plural verb form for the same moving on to the next rule that is third rule in the row so this rule says uh, before we understand this rule let's try to answer these questions many a man was killed in the war many a man work in the war so now which one do you think is correct a or b similarly if we talk about next more than one book was purchased more than one book were purchased now out of this which one do you think is correct now so many a man that seems uh, plural so definitely you will go for word and but then the right option to your surprise should be singular verb form that should be was now so if we ever find this kind of structure where many and that indifferent article plus noun comes so that always takes singular verb form many a man was killed in the war is correct and more than one book was purchased is correct so whenever wherever you find you can take a screenshot and can understand it for examples and can uh, go through the examples to match the rules so these kind of structures always take singular verb form so you can see these examples moving on to our next rule that is the fourth rule here so the fourth rule uh, we are going to know about the difference between a number of and the number of and how do they take the verb form and what difference do they make in the sentences if you see the very first one a number of students dash present in the class so of options here like here in the verb sentence an indefinite article is used before the word number which means the number of the student is indefinite so definitely it will take plural verb form so r should be the right option here similarly uh, but uh, if you talk about the number of so it's quite different here why? because the is a different article so the number of the students dash present in the class so it means it's the number of the student is definite here so it will take singular verb sound so this is what a difference a number of that refers to the indefinite number so it always take plural verb form where is the number of always take singular verb form because the number is definite moving on to our next rule that is a fifth rule so we'll come to know about the difference between the word percentage was uh, and percent here so how does a verb connect to them and how do they affect it and how does an article affect verb when connect to them these two words that is percentage and person so the first will come to know about the word percentage here so if the word percentage precedes the different article that is the then the following verb is always in singular form irrespective of its noun and number so whatever noun and number comes right 
talking about the subject but if the is added just before the word percentage it will always take singular word form for example if you see this sentence the percentage of noble people dash less in the world so as for the rule it will take is that a singular word form here so is is the right option so the structure is the plus the percentage of plus noun plus single verb whereas if you talk about the word percent so it has quite a different rule here so if the word percent proceeds by any number then the following verb will be according to the noun followed right so to understand this we must see the structure right we must know the rule so here noun decides the following verb number so whatever noun comes right after these words so whatever number it is it is a singular or a plural so according to that we are going to use a verb form for example if you see the sentence 40 percent of the mangoes dash rotten is rotten or rotten so mangoes is a noun here that is plural so definitely we'll go with war similarly if you talk about 20 percent of the strings so again student is what that is plural here referring to the plural number so r should be the right option here so in this kind of uh, i mean structures we always use plural verb form moving on to the our next tool that is the sixth tool in a row so if the subject of the sentence refers to a specific or definite distance time quantity weight word amount it always takes singular verb form irrespective of its noun and its number you can take a screenshot of this particular rule as well and let's try to understand the same with different examples so if you see the first one 40 miles that is what referring to the fixed or talking about definite distance here so a long distance to walk so is should be the right option here similarly if we talk about the next rule 10 hours dash enough for the week so as per the rule we'll go for singular verb form that is is here because it's referring to the fixed or definite r moving on to the next rule that is the seventh rule and uh it has a structure like noun plus preposition plus noun singular verb so if the verb structure appears in any sentence where a noun is repeated and preposition comes in between then the noun and the following verb are always in singular number the rule seems to be tough but if you try to understand through i mean examples if you see this the first one ship after ship see the noun and that is repeated in between comes a uh, preposition after so they ship and ship these two words always in, in singular i uh, mean number and at the same time they will take a singular verb form similarly if it is the talking about the second sentence city after city it, it will again take that is singular verb form that is is that so city after city is destroyed ship after ship is said by now moving on to the next tool a tool now in the row some nouns seem to be one or a singular but they are always plural in nature like glasses binoculars scissors pants trousers tongues spectacles these always take plural verb form frank they are they seem to be one but they are plural in nature my scissors are very sharp correct your trousers are very loose my shoes are of black color my spectacles are faulty now if you see these examples my subject is scissors trousers shoes spectacles they seem to be one but they always take plural verb form and but then uh, there is a <clears throat> note that we must understand that if we add the phrase a pair of before such nouns so talking about the words a pair of shoes so it should take is a pair of scissors so it will take is and a singular verb form right so that is what we need to take care of so my shoes are but a pair of shoes is moving on to the next rule that is ninth rule in the row before we know this rule let's try to answer this question all the luggage dash lost was lost or lost seem to be plural so we'll go for were or if we'll go for was so the right option should be was so as i discussed the rule with you these uh, words always take plural verb for or singular verb form them so some english words are considered as uh, singular always irrespective of their number this is what the rule here takes singular verb form and can't be made plural adding as or years like furniture luggage equipment percentage news advice poetry knowledge dirt dust traffic money music coffee and etc so let's try to understand to uh, this is a different example so milton's poetry is immortal 
all the equipment is kept on the table the news is useful for us these all three sentences are correct if you see these so it, it, it cannot be portraits it cannot be equipments it cannot be newses these will be incorrect right moving on to the next rule that is a 10th rule now so some words in english language end with s or es and seem plural but they are singular in nature and refer to one only that is missiles mums billiards darts mathematics physics statistics phonetics wells athens united states let's see the examples here so measles is a dangerous disease mathematics is not an easy subject the united states is a powerful country see these subjects which has s or e is added there but then they always take single form moving on to our next rule let's try to answer the following questions he commanded me as if he dash my boss was my boss were my boss Definitely you go for was but then the right option should be first so to our surprise right choices were it refers to the supposition case here so in this cases we use well let's try to understand the rule for the same so that we can understand it in a better way now the rule says when we express our unfulfilled wishes desires or when we suppose or assume something we use plural verb that is what even with the singular subject and all persons for example he commanded me as if he so we should go for were my boss that is supposition case here let us learn more about it and if you see this examples like i wish i dash a king different to unfulfilled wish here so was should be the incorrect option whether was should be used so if, but if i say i i i was watching a movie yesterday different to a past continuous sentence that is correct one similarly if you talk about the second sentence if i were a bird i would fly to your conditionals so we have combination what plus would moving on to the next rule that is 12th rule in the row if you talk about this if we have this following structures in a sentence it always takes plural verb form more plus noun that is plural than one plus plural verb for example if i say more books than one dash purchased it should take plural verb form that is verb right if you say more laborers than one were sent home right moving on to the next one now if we talk about uh if we next rule that is 13th rule if two subjects are connected using the following words it always takes its verb according to the first subject so if two subjects are added using the expressions like as well as along with together with with in addition to but except besides including excluding so in this kind of sentences we must always go for the first subject and according to that we'll be using the verb form for example if you say he as well as his friends dash going to chat here in this sentence the first subject is he and the second subject is his friends and connected using the phrase like as well as so in this case we use verb form according to the first subject that is he so we should go for is here now if you talk about the second sentence the teacher along with his students same plural but then we'll go for the first subject the teacher here so we'll use is again so present in the class the teacher along with his students is present in the class moving on to our 14th rule of, of this video in a sentence if two subjects are connected using the connectors like not only but also then we use verb form according to the last subject only try to understand this that if two sentences are uh, if, if in a sentence two subjects are connected using the connectors like not only but also then we use verb form according to the last subject also for example not only virat first subject but also his friends second subject dash talented my second subject is his friends here so definitely we'll go for r why because friends is plural subject here right so not only but uh, not only virat but also his friends are talented moving on to the next one not only the students first subject but also the teacher dash present in the class will go for the last subject that is the teacher so definitely we we'll go for is so it should be the right option here so not only the teachers but also sorry not only the students but also the teacher is present in the class moving on to the our last a uh, rule for this video so if the subject of the sentence comprises any of these words then these always take singular verb form for example every everyone anyone someone either neither somebody nobody no one or each right if you see these as my subject in the sentence so they always take singular verb form for example everyone everyone seems what plural but then that takes 
singular of her form so everyone was present there in the meeting will be correct somebody dash gifted me this jacket has or have will go for has so has should be the right option here we'll go for the singular of her form similarly if you think about this sentence one of them dash wandering in the forest will go for was one of them was wandering in the forest and talking about the next somebody gifted me this jacket has or have will go for it has somebody has gifted me this jacket so if you uh, get this kind of uh, expressions in a sentence we will always go for the singular verb form so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me with the same um, keep smiling keep learning stay home and stay safe thank you so much